Hello everyone, welcome back and in this video I'll be opening and assembling the Lego Marvel Spidey and his amazing friends set 10782 Hulk vs Rhino Truck Showdown. Um, it's a 4 plus set, um, it comes with um, a Hulk vehicle, a Rhino has a vehicle and, and Spider-Man has a little um, glider and there's a um, Rhino figure, a Hulk and it's, it's basically a fun four plus set, as you can see. So, right, thank you. Right, without further ado, we'll get on. You open it up. I picked this up off um, my Lego man this, this week, so. We have two books. Two bags. Bag number one has the Hulk and Spider-Man in it. Quite a nice little, quite a thick chunky book. So put the bits over there. We need one of these chassis pieces. Open the book up, open the manual up. And the Hulk is going to walk you through this one, which is quite nice. It comes with a mini Hulk figure. And the Hulk just has, an e e has one evil grin or another evil grin. We'll go for his big evil grin. And has his hair piece. Nice little Hulk figure. They've done the um, trousers right. They got they got him. Seems to have the Hulk down to a T there, so quite a nice little figure to have. That's what makes his four plus sets um, quite good. So check with no Spider Man to build yet. Nope. We have a should be a bin in here. A hot dog and a hot dog to go in there. I'm not sure if the Hulk holds the hot dog while he's, while he's fighting, I don't know, but... Spider-Man's head is in the bin, that's not a good omen, is it? So you put the hot dog in the bin like that, as your standard Lego hot dog. Now we build Spider-Man himself. Another Spider-Man figure. I do seem to have inherited quite a few of these. Oh, it's only got little smaller legs as well, which I didn't really see that. Does it? You can't really see that so much on the legs. A bit disappointed by that, because I would expect, but it's a four plus set, so I suppose it's a, it's a different Spider-Man. It's got the, um, the little legs on it, so. And Spider-Man has his webbing, like so. I don't think he can really hold that on his own. There we go, he can hold it like that. There we go, put Spider-Man there. Now we build the spider glider first. Don't think the Hulk's will be too happy about that, but I think he's gonna have to grin and bear it. So we start off with a red four by two and a gray two by one, like so. Then a blue wing and a grey vent piece goes on, the, on like that then we have two of the um, two by ones with a Technic connector hole on like so and make some rockets or jets, I'm not sure which they are, but Hulk's holding on to one of those. Thank you very much. Where's the other rocket bit? There we go. To make your rockets with these 
Technic bits like that. Then these go in here. Like so. And then there's a blue six by two right angled piece that goes on there. And Spider-Man himself. Standing in his little little spider glider, which is quite 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 a new bit of kit for him. Not a bad little bit, not a bad little build. That's more um if you put a full size figure with it and maybe make the glider bigger, you'd make a nice make a nice little poly bag as well. But who knows if that will happen. And now we got now we build the Hulk's little truck. So we start off with this base plate here, a grey two by one with a bar on it, like so. A the blue or purple four by one. And a grey vent piece, like so. A blue two by one. And another blue, pur purpley blue two four by one. Goes on the back there. Then we have a mini arch piece in the same colour. And two of the three by one flats. There you go on the back. The actual new part of the build is actually marked in red on the actual instructions. I only just noticed that. That is quite nice. If if you uh, if you're a younger builder, the Hulk has a seat in his car. His little truck that goes in the back there like that. A couple of engine parts go in these bits here. They get used in engines quite often, so they've got the right sort of look about them. A grey steering wheel. A piece like this. This goes on the front here. Like so. That's what we got so far for it. A, should be another grey um, yeah, grey vent piece then a 1x4 Lego brick and a 2x4 Lego brick go on there like that Then you've got two of these um, two by one Technic black bricks with the holes in them. You've got an engine bonnet, ple bonnet piece that goes on the top, like so. What we've got our, what our whole truck looks like so far. Little windscreen. And two Hulk hands from the um, Big Hulk. I think these are from the Big Hulk figure that they do. So when he, when he rammed into something, he, he actually does some damage. But why the Hulk needs a truck to do some damage is a bit of a mystery to me because he's a one man wrecking crew before you begin. Put these wheels, put these wheels on. Though, though, the, though as much as the superheroes don't actually need all these accessories and stuff like this. It is actually nice that Lego make them because it makes some really cool Lego builds. I mean, this set is apparently from Disney Juniors because I think they've done Spidey and his amazing friends. So, not too confused with Spider Man and his amazing friends, which was um, 
which was um, Spider-Man, Firestar and Iceman. So, oops, put these wheels on the right way around. The wheels go on this way, not this way. Well, you can put them on whichever way you like, but if you're doing the build properly, as the way Lego have designed it, you got the spare hot dog goes in there. The Hulk's got his um, truck with his fists on. And Spider-Man can sort of, should be able to hang on the back of that. I think that's the, that is the premise of it. See, Spider-Man can be on his glider on the back of the Hulk's truck like that, which is actually quite cool. That's the first part of the build. Next we've got, ooh, just a couple of nice Spidey and Amazing Friends sets. I think I'm still waiting to get the, I'm not sure if I've, got, if I've had the Green Goblin set yet or not, because I do have a bit of a backlog at the moment. So now we have bag number two, which is the Rhino's truck. He has got he has got some meat he has got some meteor wheels in the hole. But the rhino figure does look quite good on the on the packaging. We'll see we'll, we'll see how good it looks in, in in real in real time. First of all we'll build the rhino figure. I'm not sure if this is the first Rhino figure Lego have actually done because I think I've read that somewhere. If anyone knows, if anyone knows, and they, if they could let me know, he only has one face, like an evil, definitely got the evil villain vibe about him. So this is the figure without the uh, helmet. The body work, the body is quite nice, nicely designed. The helmet adds to it as well. Yeah, so that is that that is a nice looking figure, it has to be said. We'll put him here for the time being while we build his truck. I think the Hulk can behave long enough. No, no, Hulk stay. Hulk can smash later. Right, so now we've got a little um, um, safe with a clear door. I don't know why I say for a clear door, but one issue at a time. And in, in there we have a, well, I don't know what that's meant to be. I would say it looks like a bit of vinyl to me, but, oh, that goes on the roof, that's all right. I was getting a bit. And we have a gold bar. The Lego gold bars, they, 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 these get used quite often, not always as gold bars, but that can be deposited through the little box. The, these little boxes are used in letter boxes and various storage containers. And a couple of gems as well, which is quite nice. That's the sort of thing the Rhino would be up to most of the time. Now we've got to build um, where the um, safe is. So we start off with a 4x4 grey base plate, a 2x4 a two two Lego brick in cream, like so. Then four of these bricks here. two of these bricks, two of these um, four by ones, half flat, half studded. And then we got two of these um, side pieces. with two of the cream arch pieces. 
That's what we've got so far. Then your safe goes in there, and it's 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 actually down to spidey in the hole to stop the rhino from stealing it now. But rhino rhino needs his truck first to make it a fair fight. So we start off with the base plate. This is your standard four plus vehicle base plate. This is um, two of the two by one with a um, connection piece on it. Like that. Then two of the um, orange four by ones. They go on there like that. Then a grey th three by two flat like that. The rhino actually walks you through the instructions on, on this one, so, so he's obviously supervising his own truck. Now we've got a green three by three by one, two of those go on the back. Got a nice little um, piece here. I do like this, this is quite cool. A lot of thoughts gone into that piece. I'm not sure if it's a specialised piece made for this set, but do keep using that piece, Lego. Thank you. And now we have two of the right angled pieces. They go on there. Have a boat slash plain piece going on there like that. And then we have two uh, pieces that go on, go on the back. I think they're, they're like the doors, back doors for his truck. So are we making two of those? No, just one of those. That's like a back door for his truck. So it's a two by one with a hook and a flat vent piece. That goes on there and in there. So when the rider gets his um, stash, he can stick it in the back. Then he's got a vent piece that goes on the front of the vehicle, like so. Doesn't come with a steering wheel, which is quite always oh, got a control panel instead. No, I suppose it makes a difference. And then you've got a um, green one by four flat studded goes there, and the control panel goes on there. It's quite a nice little control panel on there. I do like those pieces? They are quite nicely designed. Then we have two of the green three by three by ones, the standard bricks. Then two of these curved pieces go on the side. One of these um, grey three by three by two roofing pieces go on here. He says optimistically. I don't yet. They will now. That bit goes on there like that. We have a big green um, triangular type piece, sh shaping piece that goes on the front here. pink um, two by two and a two by two with a connector piece on it. Goes from the front, doesn't matter the colour of that piece there because no one's, this is not going to be seen. 
not that it matters anyway, but I think it depends on what pieces Lego had on the day. Now we've got a two by one with a bar on it, like so, flat, two on flat with a bar on it. Then we have the Rhino, the Rhino front bit on there. That does look good. The nice little brick that you can do, you could do something with that. You can make a lizard with that as well. Well, a, a robo lizard anyway, but it's got potential. Our rhino's horn goes on there. Not the first time the Lego Lego have made a, uh, made a rhinoceros in the. This is a very it's a very basic model, but it's quite nice. Now the wheels are just these round pieces here with a yellow. Um, flat round piece on there. Do that times four. There we have the Rhino's truck. It is quite nice, as you can see. It's not the best build in the world, but it's a four plus set, and it's designed for a kids, um, based on a kids TV program. So you're not really expecting to, you're not really expecting to get the, um, you're not really expecting a Daily Bugle or anything like um, amazingly massive. The Rhino figure is actually quite nice, and I do quite like that. That is a cool figure. So it's actually worth buy. It's actually worth buying the set for that, really. Uh, but if you're a collector, it's going to be quite awkward selling it without the figures as well. So, but to uh, to, to be honest, with you, I would sell the set as a whole thing if I was going to do it anyway. So, so the Rhino's horn can, can ram, should be able to ram that out there. Then the Hulk and Spidey come along and go, "You're not stealing that." Hulk smash and then Spidey, go, Spidey gets up in the air and then it all goes wrong and it all gets messy. When, especially, when, um, especially when the Hulk and the Rhino mix it up because Spider-Man can mix up with the Rhino and so can the Hulk. So the pair of them can, can do some serious damage. It's a quite a nice little Hulk vehicle that as well really to be honest with you. Nice, simple, just a car and they've just stuck some Hulk fists on it but it does look good. It really does look good. Um, the Spider-Man figure is a bit, it would have been nice to get a bigger Spider-Man figure, but it's a four plus set. What do you, what do you really expect? The Rhino figure makes up for it because it, that is a good figure. The whole figure has been done before, so they've already, Lego already got that in some form or other. So probably different, slightly different variant, but all looks good though. All looks quite nice. Um, Quite um, very playable, as you can see, and the accessories are quite good as well. Some nice accessories with it. So overall, quite happy with that. Well done, Lego. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, do feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I would like to thank my regular subscribers on YouTube and Instagram. Thank you very much for your continued support, and I hope it continues. If you have any comments or feedback on this video, do feel free to leave them and leave, leave it on the end of the video and I'll try to give you a mention on one of my upcoming videos. Uh, I'm on YouTube and Instagram, like I said before, so do feel free to subscribe. S stay safe, keep building and make mine marvel. Thank you for watching.